Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the January 2022 Clear Stamp and Die of the Month Kit from Spellbinders. So here is the clear stamp. These are high quality photopolymer stamps. Um, they do have a Valentine's kind of heartsy theme to them. One love, one heart. I adore you. I love you. Be my Valentine. And then you have three large heart images. And then you have a smaller heart, a floral, two florals, and then two small little um, heart florals. And if you have the Glimmer Kit of the month, these coordinate beautifully together. And if you get the stamp and die, you will get these dies, which will cut out the heart, the small heart, two little banners for the sentiments, the two florals, and the two small florals. So let's get started. I think I want to do a slimline card today. So I have three of the larger hearts in my mini misty here and I'm going to stamp them with Hero Arts Intense Black Ink so that I can color them with my alcohol markers and I put them in my mini misty because I want to be able to stamp these out a few times and make sure I get a nice dark black image. So you can see there, not very dark the first time around. So I'm going to do it again. Okay, getting better. Looks like the bottom's here. Let me stamp a little better. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we're okay there. All right, and now I'm going to color. And it looks like I have a tiny little mist spot. So I'm going to take my Copic liner right here on my little heart here and just fill that in. Looks like everywhere else is pretty good, so I don't need to mess with anything else. Okay, and now I'm just going to take my time and color them in. This is where you can be as creative as you want. You can use your color pencils, your watercolor markers, your alcohol markers, whatever you have. You can do multiple colors. You can do single colors. I'm not big into coloring, so I will try to make this pretty fast and easy, but if you enjoy coloring, you can definitely take your time, do multiple colors, and really enhance these images. These are great value, these kits, because if you're just beginning and you want to build up your stash, these are wonderful kits to be able to do that. Um, they come every month, and you always get something a little bit different. I do recommend the clear stamp of the month and the dies together, um, because you never know when you're going to want to cut out something small like those small flowers, and it really does help to have those matching dies. But you don't have to get the dies if you want to just start a stamping kit and you have a budget, you can do it without the dies. You can just do clear stamp of the month and you can fussy cut them out if you prefer to hand cut them out. That'll save you a couple dollars. And for those of you venturing into hot foiling, they also have the glimmer kit of the month and I did a video for that. I'll tag that at the end of this for you guys if you wanna watch that and it coordinates beautifully with this stamp set. Now that ink that I used, that Hero Arts Intense Black ink, is a Copic friendly ink, so it's fine for these alcohol markers. Um, you would wanna use the ink that works best for whatever type of coloring you're gonna do. So if you're gonna be coloring with water-based markers, this ink will also work okay with that, um, or color pencils. Just choose wisely. You wouldn't wanna stamp with, say, a VersaFine Claire ink, and then try to alcohol color because it would smear all over the page. And I 
just brought in a little bit lighter green. Of course, you don't have to do traditional coloring here. Card making is about creativity. It's about being artistic and fun. So you can make these any color you want. You can make them purple, make them blue, whatever. Okay, and just adding a little bit different layers of colors here. I think I have everything colored the way that I want it. Okay, I have my slimline card ready to go. We're going to die cut these hearts out. Before we die cut, I want to accentuate this background a little bit. So I'm going to take the little floral images and the hearts and I'm just going to stamp them in the background and I'm just going to grab some colored inks kind of design my own pattern paper here
just turning my paper, randomly adding these stamps all over, some off the page. Okay, so we have this fun, playful background. I tried to incorporate some similar colors as the markers. The pink was a little darker than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're gonna take the heart die that comes with the stamp and die kit, and we're going to cut out our hearts. Our base platform this is the brand new Spellbinders Glimmer Platinum 6. Sorry, not Glimmer, Platinum 6. And my um, platform, we have our base plate. Actually, I'm going to flip that over because I already cut that. And then I have my top plate. And I'm just going to tape the die on top of the hearts and then roll it through and cut all of those out. that with the other two. And I am going to cut out as well one of the banners so that we have a banner ready to go to stamp on for our sentiment. our banner. So now it's just time to assemble. All right, now I feel like our hearts are getting lost behind that background. So I'm gonna do a little bit of ink blending. I'm 
gonna grab this light green and a blending brush and I'm just gonna start off of the page and just kind of bring in some of that color onto our panel here. It doesn't need to be precise, we just wanna change the background a little bit. And I think that green is a nice fresh spring green. It's called Garden Party, it's from Catherine Poehler. Use whatever inks you have. You have a blending brush or blending um, distress uh, domed foam blender or whatever you have. Now, on that same token, I think I want my hearts to be kind of peachy pink. So, let's do the same thing on those guys. Now, to make it a little easier for blending, I'm going to bring in my little blending mat here so that the hearts don't move. Let's see, and then I can put them right there. And they won't move, and I want a really light, light, subtle pink. Same thing, and I go into my ink, start off the mat here, and then just lightly bring some of that pink in. All right. Now it's just assembly. I'm going to put the two on the back side that don't have any sentiments on them, and the one with the sentiment I'll pop up in the middle. green and that pink really pop. It's floral, it's spring, you know, it doesn't always have to be red and, you know, for Valentine's, you can, you don't have to make these Valentine's cards. Oh, I want to pop that one up. Never mind, we're not gluing that one on. The foam tape here. tweezers right next to me go figure okay I 
trying not to pull this too hard because that glue is still underneath there and I don't want it to pull my tape off. I'm trying to be delicate about pulling that liner off. Okay, liner is off. Okay, here we go. And then we're gonna pop this one. Happiness is a moment with you. Okay, and then we have our little sentiment banner, which will go under there, which is perfect. Be my Valentine, perfect. My ink is a little smudgy on there. Well, you know how we fix that? We flip it over and we stamp it again. Better. There we go. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to give that ink a second to dry. I don't want to smudge it. Then I'm just going to glue it right here. All right, so there you guys have it. That is the Spellbinders Clear Stamp of the Month and Die Kit for January 2022. Again, go check that out. I'll put the links down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please click the bell so you can get notifications anytime I post a new video. I did also post the video on the new Glimmer Kit of the Month, and you can see here that it coordinates beautifully. So you definitely want to go check that out as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.